Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. So this tutorial is going to be about the dynamic footsteps. It's optional for you to learn about how you can create the landscape and paint the landscape with the materials. And you can basically follow the same tutorial that I have followed. It's this one right here. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below so you can learn as well how you can uh, do that. So here I have my landscape. I have only set up two materials, one for grass and the other one is for snow. Uh, here, as you can see, we have the layer info. Uh, I'm not sure if you already know how to set up the landscape, but basically you have layer types. So one layer info for the snow is the is assigned to be the, the first one right here. You can basically change the physical material, which is pretty useful for determining which type of terrain, which type of material you're landing on. But we're going to talk about that later. Uh, we're going to create a new physical material. So we're going to right click, type P, and physical material. We're going to create one for grass. And I'm going to basically just duplicate this and call this snow. All right. So we're going to save everything. All right. Uh, here on Mega Scans, as you can see, I have all materials. The thing that we're going to do here, so as soon as the character lands his foot on the ground, we're going to be able to place a sound effects and a visual effect. So how we can do that? Well, first, we're going to be able to... The thing that you have to do on your uh, project, we're going to set up uh, this animation, Notify. As soon as this animation is played, this Notify is going to be triggered. And we're going to be able to call this notify inside the animation blueprint of the character. As soon as this event is triggered, then we're going to spawn a line trace that is going to be that is going to go downwards. As this line trace is going to go downwards, we're going to get the all the information of uh, where this line trace hits. Of course, uh, it's going to be on the ground, and uh, we're going to get the impact point, and we're going to use the location of the impact point to spawn a Niagara effect, a system. And we're going to be able to play a different sound effect depending on which material uh, we land. And what's going to define which material we land, how we're going to be able to identify that, is with the line trace and the physical material. So we're going to basically assign, well, it's already assigned. No, it's not assigned, but if you paint the terrain with grass, for example, and the other one with snow, and you have physical materials assigned with them. So for example, the snow uh, material is assigned with the snow uh, physical material. And the grass one is assigned with the grass one. Then uh, as soon as we we spawn the light trace that is going to go downwards. Uh, as soon as it hits the uh, this grass right here, we're going to be able to identify by getting the info of what physical material is attached to that material. Okay, so we're going to add a new notify for the skeleton here for this animation. So we're going to go to all your run animations and walk animations that you're currently using for your character on your project and we're going to be able to right click add notify and new notify so we're going to add whatever name you want i add mine as footstep so we are going to place it a little bit before as the as soon as the character lands his foot on the ground Like right here. Mine is a little bit further. That's no problem. Now that we have added these notifies here, we're going to do the same for the run animations. Like so. And also for the land. So we're going to add that for all your animations. Now that we have all the notifies added to the animations. Now we're going to type the same name that you've used there. In my case, I named my notify to be footstep. So we're going to get this event. So this event is triggered as soon as we land a foot on the ground. 
But let's see that in slow motion if that's working. So as you can see, as soon as I land my foot on the ground, it prints hello on the screen. As soon as I land, it also prints hello two times. Uh, now here, what we can do, we can create a new function that is going to make us spawn the line trace. So this is going to be basically identify material or better identify physical material. That's what you want. So we're going to make this trace to identify which physical material the character is currently on uh, landed, right? So we're going to spawn a line trace line trace for we can do by channel now here we're going to select what what's the location that's going to be so we're going to get the character we're going to get a location uh, we're going to duplicate this actually we don't need to duplicate it you can place that to the start and then from return value we're going to choose to add or subtract and then we're going to make it go downwards by typing 120 all right and here on the draw debug type we can do for duration for now and we want to get the return node because this is we want to get the results of the line trace and as we want to get the hit result we're going to split the structure pin so that we can get the out physics material. And here, this is basically, we're going to display, uh, if you go to the event graph, uh, animation graph, we're going to be able to drag and drop our uh, uh, function that we've just created. We can call this, we can enable this to be pure. And here we have the output, right? So, we're going to get the hit result, which is going to display for us which is the physical material, which is that we want. But we only want to call this uh, line trace when we hit something. So we're going to get a branch and we're going to get the return value to the condition. So this is going to make sure that only when this line trace hits something, then we're going to uh, display the values. Then we're going to get the values here. So we're going to basically print a string and see which physical material you're currently hitting on. But that's basically pretty important because we need to know if it's working, right? So I'm going to turn on this low motion mode. And as soon as the character lands his foot on the ground, as you can see on the top left corner, it says physical snow. That's the same name of the physical material they have named. As you can see here, the, the physics material name Physical material name is physics, phys no, so it's the same name. And here, when I land on the grass, as you can see, it identifies that it's grass. But if you didn't follow the tutorial, as it's optional for you, you can test this by just dragging, dropping a cube here. And then we can attribute a physical material to this cube. And you can choose, you can, I think you can create a new physical material if you would like, but let's create one just to test it out. So let's say we're going to create a new physics material, physical material, and this is going to be called cube. Just simple as that, cube. And then we're going to attribute this physical material to the cube. So how we can do that? In the world, you can do that by typing material here. So you're going to be able to see that you have this here. So we're going to drag and drop it. And as soon as you press play, if the cube has collision, we're going to jump into it. And we expect to print cube, as you can see there. Uh, I'm going to delete this cube and delete this physical material because I don't need it. So what's the next step? The next step is to create a macro 
And the macro is going to be used for selecting which sound effect, which visual effect is going to be played. Uh, we're going to be able to choose what volume of the sound effect is going to be played and so on. What location of where the visual effect is going to be spawned at. So we're going to type here, select. As we created a function for identifying the physical material, we're going to create select PM, something like that. Doesn't necessarily need to make sense, but so here we're going to spawn. We don't need to spawn. We're going to play sound effect. But if we're using a template that is for multiplayer, we're going to basically spawn a sound effect. And here I'm going to choose spawn system at location. We're going to drag and drop our function, identify PM. Uh, we're going to drag and drop, we're going to drag off this and type equal. And we're going to select, actually we're going to be able to select here on the uh, from the inputs. So when you go to the event graph, we're gonna be able to see that when you drag and drop the macro here, we are able to select which physical material we've just hit. So we can delete this and let's go back to our macro. So here we're going to get branch. We're going to connect this to the inputs, the false to the outputs. Now we're going to choose our sound effect. So I have mine here, grass. Actually, we're going to be able to choose the sound effect out of the inputs. So we're going to drag and drop it to the inputs. And we're going to be able to choose it here. I'm going to organize this a little bit. Also, we want to get the location of where the visual effect is going to be spawned. So to do that, we're going to go back to our function. And here on the out hit impact point, this is basically the impact point of where the line trace hits. So here we're going to compile, save. Uh, here on the out hit impact point, we're going to go to the, it's gonna go to the location. Then we're going to go to true. Then we're going to play the sound effect, play the visual effect, and that's basically it. If it goes to false, we're going to give it another try with another physical materials. And we're going to be able to check that later by duplicating the macro. So we're going to duplicate it. And the false is going to go to here. So we're going to repeat the process, but with a different material, with a different physical material, right? Here we're going to be able to change also the volume that you want. And I'm going to rename this to make more sense. I'm going to name this to be volume. And here in the system template, I'm going to say that particle effect, sound effect. And here on the B, it's PM. Select. It means it stands for physical material select. So depending on which physical material you select here on the macro, then it's going to influence the whole macro. Uh, so here on the PM select, we're going to select our physical material. In my case, it's physical it's grass. We can do the grass for the first one. The second one is going to be for the snow. So this is no. There we go. Now we're going to organize this a little bit. I think this should be on the top. All right. So here, after hello, we can also bring up the identify PM just to tell us which one was hit, which physical material was hit. And also, if you want to display the, the location of where you hit, uh, we can display that. 
but this is just optional. So now here we're going to select our grass. Now the sound effect has to match with the of what you're trying to land on. And here on the particle effect is going to be grass surface. And here it's going to be snow, so sound effect is going to be for snow. Q. The particle effect. Particle effect is going to be snow. You can have this option here to choose heavy and light. Uh, remember that the project files are going to be down in the description below. I'm going to compile save. Now I think the volume I can choose dot four. It's up to you. And here we're going to test it out. So we're going to do this in slow motion. So as soon as the character lands. Plays a different sound effect, visual effect. As soon as the character lands on the grass, it plays a different sound effect as well. I'm going to boost up the volume to one. So yeah, you can basically choose the, the parameters. Uh, you can add stuff here like um, pitch multiplier, the rotation scale, and this code is pretty flexible. So you can basically have all the control of everything that happens uh, as soon as the character lands his foot on the ground. And that's going to be it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment down below and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.